It sounds like a bad joke, but why did NASA smash a rocket into the moon? The answer is simple. Water. Water is the gold of outer space. It tells us about the possibility of life on distant planets and moons, as well as the evolution of life on our planet. There is increasing evidence of water on the moon. Orbiting spacecraft seem to have identified strong signatures of hydrogen, which is the H in H2O. So now it's time to go to the surface to confirm the findings. And that's exactly what LCROSS did on October 9th. The spent center rocket that launched LCROSS into space crashed into the moon. LCROSS analyzed the resulting debris in search of signs for water ice. And so it'll be a 2300 kilogram uh, school bus impacting at about twice the speed of a bullet, about uh, 2.5 kilometers per second, so it's about 5,600 miles per hour, or uh, a little bit more than a ton of TNT uh, explosive. Elcross hit the moon with a bang, but the press coverage felt more like a whimper. Elcross scientists had predicted that even amateur astronomers with mid-sized telescopes would be able to contribute valuable observations to the program. In fact, only a few major observatories detected the impact. Even the images sent back by LCROSS showed just a small flash seen only in infrared light. Nonetheless, researchers are convinced that they have acquired the data they need. In the coming months, they will sift through the images and other data to search for evidence of water. And what are the possibilities if water is confirmed on the moon? Water is a key component for the colonization of space. Water is an incredible resource, and it costs about $10,000 per pound to lift into low Earth orbit. If we can find water on the moon, we can use it as a resource. We probably wouldn't be drinking the water, uh, but what we'd uh, probably be using the water for if we found it was extracting the oxygen and the hydrogen out of it to make uh, rocket fuel. For future missions. But not only will the moon's water help us in the future, it can also help us understand our past. Understanding the source of water on the moon helps us actually understand the evolution of the entire inner solar system. On November 13th, NASA announced finding significant amounts of water on the moon. When the spent Centaur rocket traveling with the Lunar Crater Observation and Sensing Satellite, or LCROSS, struck the moon on October 9th, it sent up a plume of moon dust. Minutes later, the LCROSS satellite flew through this plume conducting ultraviolet and infrared spectrometer analyses. A spectrometer examines light emitted or absorbed by materials which, in turn, helps identify their composition. The LCROSS analyses showed that the spectra in the lunar dust match the spectra for water. And it turns out the sample contained at least 26 gallons of water in the form of ice formed over billions of years. Jackpot. Scientists targeted the South Pole Crater Impact Site because of its temperature, minus 365 degrees Fahrenheit, quite literally, where the sun don't shine. In these craters, water can freeze and collect over billions of years. So where did the water come from originally? Within the moon? Comets? Solar winds? Scientists are hoping that eventually they'll find the answer to this. In the meanwhile, they are considering what this amazing find might mean to our space program. A lunar space station, perhaps? Only time will tell. <laughs>